Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I hope that the year 2012 has been kind to you so far. Today, I'm going to do a deep dive into the break command. I know what you're thinking. I know all there is to know about the break command. Well, we're going to see. I'm going to show you a tip about the break command and that I wish were on the menu system. And then I'm going to show you how to put it into the menu system. I'm going to put it on the ribbon, but you can put it in the pull down, put it anywhere you want it to go. All right. So let's start by taking a look at the way the break command is right now on the ribbon. So there are two break options. The first break option allows me just to pick any two points on an object and it will break between those two points, right? That's easy enough. Let me undo that. The second option allows you to basically break in the same spot twice. So you kind of do a karate chop, no space in between. So to do that, I'm going to select this break at point. I'm going to pick the object and then I pick where I want to break it at. And you'll see right there, I broke it at that second point. Okay, now, you know, that's actually one step too many for me. I would like it to break it at the same spot that I used when I selected the point. Why can't it just break it there? All right, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now to do that, I'm going to have to go into the break command. All right, select the object. I'm going to pick it where I want to break it. And then it says specify the second break point. If I type in the at symbol, it will break it in the same spot twice. It broke it at the place that I selected it. Okay, but you know, that took me some time as well, right? I had to type in the at symbol. I took my hand, take my hand off the mouse. I don't like that. So I want to put that into the menu system. So I want a really cool tool. So all I have to do is pick on the screen where I want to break it and it will break it in the same spot twice. I do one click and I'm good to go. All right, to do that, we are going to have to go into the dreaded CUI command. Yes, we are. <laughs> now, I don't have a lot of time to go into all the inner workings of the CUI command and talk about macros, so we're, but we're going to do the best we can today. All right, so let's see how far we can get. So to start off with, I have to create a new command. So I'm going to click right here on the create a new command button. And let's call this guy break at. What do you think about that? Does that sound pretty good? Sounds pretty good to me. All right, let's come over here. I'm going to pull this up. Now for the description, let's say uh, break where I select the object. Okay, how about that? You don't have to give a description, but I like to do that in case someone else uses your cool command. And the command display name, let's call that the same thing, break at. Okay, here's the macro. This is where it gets tricky if you've never written macros before. I'll come back another time and teach you all about macros. But those carrot C, carrot C is the same as a control C, control C, which basically means to escapes, which gets me to the command line. I want to be at the command line before I run any command, right? So that's what those guys do. Make sure that I'm at the command line. I want it to execute the break command. Now, when I go in the break command, I always have to hit an enter, right? Break, enter. I'm going to use the space bar to do an enter. That's, that works inside of macros. Actually, it works inside of AutoCAD too. And then I have to pause for user input. I'm going to use the backslash. That's how you pause for user input so that I can pick on the screen where I want the break to happen. Now, what's the next step? What did we do after we picked on the screen where we wanted the break to happen? We executed the at symbol, right? We hit the at symbol. So that little macro is all I need to get this magic to happen. All right, now I do need to assign an image, right? So I don't happen to have an image. Let's pull this down for my new tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of modify an existing one. Now there are a zillion images as you can see on here. I'm going to try to find the break command. Okay, here's the one where it breaks between the two points. I'm actually going to use this one here. It's the one that looks a little closer to what I'm after because it's breaking in the same spot twice. So I'm going to edit this and you're going to spend more time at this than me. I'm going to turn the grid on. I'm just going to basically change that from blue to magenta, but you're going to work harder on this. But I just want to distinguish it so it's its own image. I'm going to save it. Let's save it as my new break command image, whatever. <laughs> Call it whatever you want. And I'm going to close that and it'll, you'll notice that it assigned it to my command. Now here's my break command. It has its own image. It looks different and it's awesome. All right, now I just need to get it into the ribbon. I need to get it into my menu system. So I'm going to put it on the ribbon. I'm going to put it under, here's go to tabs. It's under the home 2D tab, under the home 2D modify panel. Here's my panel here. I want to put it right in there. I'm going to pick on the spot pretty close to where I want it to go. And you'll see the break, the breaks between the two points, the break at the same point. I need to put my new command right about here. 
So I'm going to come down here. Here's my new command. I'm going to drag and drop it. Ooh, don't go too far. Right about there. Check it out. There it is on the panel. That looks fantastic, right? That was pretty easy. Here it is right there. All right, if it's, I'm good to go. Am I good to go? I'm going to say OK. All right, let's see if it worked. <laughs> Cross your fingers, everybody. Let's go up to the Modify panel, and you will see there is my new tool. Awesome. Let's try it. I'm going to select it, pick on the screen, on the object, where I want to break it at. How fast is that? Look at that. It's where I selected it is where it broke it. Awesome. Awesome. Let's do it again. That was so awesome. I have to do it one more time. Modify. We're going to grab that. I'm going to pick right here. Now watch where I select it is where it breaks it at. Awesome. Saving you a lot of time. All right. Well, okay. At least some time. So try that. I know that was pretty fast, but you can play this video over and over again until you get it. I hope that you enjoyed that extra long tip and I hope that you have a great week. Take care.